Hey, Resurrection Church family, Peter Elliott here. Again, if we haven't met, I'm the communications director here at the church. I just wanna say, hi, nice to meet you, and I'm just really excited that you're part of Resurrection Church family. Whether you're new here, whether you've been coming for a while, it doesn't matter. We're just happy you're here, and we're happy that you wanna learn more about Jesus, you wanna grow in your relationship with him. And so whether you are part of the Federal Way campus or the Tacoma location here, or whether you're part of the Gig Harbor Church plant, whether you're watching online to start, hey, we just wanna say, Thanks for being here. Thanks for being with us. And so this week we entered week 10. We're halfway through our sermon series of Build Together. Uh, and this week we were talking about the people of Israel and the, and the Jewish people and Nehemiah rediscovering God's word and God's law and celebrating it, taking time to really dig in and hear the words of God uh, and all of them kind of come together as a community and grow in their spiritual walk. And that was kind of the thrust of this, uh, this passage. And so the application point this week was simply to do that uh, as a community of Resurrection Church, right? It, the idea was for us uh, in our personal lives, in, in our relationships we have with friends and family, to go deeper into God's word, to essentially listen, learn, and then live out God's word. Listen, that means we read. We actually take time to read the words of God in the Old Testament and the New Testament. And then learn, right? We're supposed to go deeper, actually meditate, think on what is God saying here? How does this fit into God's bigger story, you know? Also like maybe reading some other people or hearing some resources. Things like the Bible Project online are really helpful for that portion of learning more, right? And then lastly, uh, living it out, right? It's our job to not only read scripture and learn, go deeper in our information, our intellectual knowledge of the Bible, but also to live it out, to apply the principles that God teaches, God's truths, to our actual lives, to where we are people of integrity, where we claim to be Christians and then live that out. And so that's what we want to encourage you guys to do this week. Just, you know, keep on listening to God, reading his word, learning, going deeper, and then living it out uh, in every facet of our lives, in our family life, in our work, applying those principles in all areas of our life. So we want to encourage you to do that, church family. A uh, couple of quick announcements. Uh, CareNet Bottle Drive. This is the last week to bring your bottles back to where at Resurrection Church we will go deliver them for you. So last week you can do that this Sunday, bring them back to the location that you received them from, whether Federal Way or Tacoma, and then we will bring them to CareNet. Don't worry, if you do not bring them back this week and you still ha have that bottle, you can just bring it to CareNet directly, hand it into one of the CareNet offices, and then your donation will go uh, to help uh, the CareNet organization. Again, thank you so much, church body, for doing this. This is such a practical way for us to benefit essentially young moms, young dads, and essentially children, and people who don't have access to medical care and resources in the South Puget Sound around parenthood and around having children. Just a way for us to support life and, and really all of life. And so thank you, church family. Lastly, uh, this summer, uh, we are going to be doing three park parties, and these are going to be times where we get to go to uh, parks like Wright Park and other parks in Tacoma, and really just as a church community, hang out, have some fun, build some community, get to know each other, and really just invite anyone in the park, anyone in our neighborhood, our friends, to these parties just so as we have fun. And so this, uh, the first one's gonna be July 11th. It's gonna be at Wright Park right after the second service. So around 1, 1 p.m. is when things will get going. We're gonna have hot dogs, hamburgers for you guys. It's gonna be bring your own side or drink to share. And so make sure you, you know, bring your own water, bring your own drinks. But then also you can bring drinks to share and you can bring chips to share, bring a side to share. But all the main stuff, the burgers, the hamburgers, the buns, uh, all that will be provided by the church. It's gonna be a great time to invite people. We're gonna have spike ball, we're gonna have uh, a nine square, we're gonna be having cornhole, we're gonna have a bunch of yard games, we're gonna have some actual like you know group activities, things like that. It's just gonna be a fun time in the sun. It's gonna be a lot of fun just being in the community uh, and hanging out together in a more laid back sense. And so we really want you to come to those party in the parks. First one, July 11th, Wright Park. We'll see you there. Uh, hey, church family, it's hot. It's gonna be a scorcher. And so we want you to stay hydrated. Make sure you're drinking water. Make sure you're grabbing some cold drinks, enjoying the sun, staying uh, cool, and just really having some fun out there. Whatever park you're going to, whatever state park, whatever trail you're hiking, just uh, enjoy God's nature, enjoy this warm weather, uh, and stay hydra hydra hydrated while you do it. And uh, we'll see you back here on Sunday.